Nine. What's up, everybody? Justin back with my daughter again. And this time we're here to bring you an episode of our roundtable discussion about Zombies uh, 2. So, let's hit it! And we're back! Is that cringeworthy? She thinks it's cringeworthy. Anyways, we're here to talk about Zombies 2 today. Just released this past weekend. We pretty much watched it right away. Took us a couple days here to uh, get our thoughts together to put the video together for you guys. So. I did watch it. I did watch it right when it came out. That's true. She did. She watched the premiere of the episode or of the movie. Um, we were over a friend's house and they all kind of watched it together. Uh, my nephews were in the basement going, ow, ow, the whole time. Yep. Yeah. Them were down there screaming out loud, and I kept trying to tell them, "Please be quiet! I'm trying to watch the movie because I wanted to see zombies too." That is true. I guess let's uh, jump right into it. Hopefully, you've watched Zombies One and you have now watched Zombies Two before you listen to us discuss about Zombies Two. Because if not, we are going to spoil just about everything for you. All right, so let's uh, jump right in. The, it continues. Zombies 2 kind of brings back the cast from the original. It does bring back the cast brings, from the brings original. Brings back um, the main girl with the white Addison. hair, Addison. Thank you. Um, brings her back. Brings back Zed. Brings back Bucky. Eliza. Eliza. Bonzo. Bonzo. Bree. Bree. Everyone else. Brings back pretty much everyone. Lacey. Stacy. Not Tracy. JC was gone too. No, that was true. There Tracy. was a new JC. They replaced JC. Or did they replace Tracy with JC? They replaced Tracy with JC. The ACs. Anyways, so we come back and uh, we're basically in the world. Zombies and people are now pretty much living in harmony. They're going to school together and they're working together. And uh, one of the big plot points of the movie is they're going to tear down the factory that... Power plant. The power plant, thank you, that created the zombies. The lime soda power plant that created the zombies. The lime soda power plant where they spilled the lime soda and it interacted with some energy source of unknown origin to create the zombies. We find out what that is later in the movie. Um, but big plot piece of the movie is that they're going to tear it down, right? And we also then, I guess, kind of get introduced to a whole new cast of characters. Most of which are... Wolves. Wolves. Not werewolves. just wolves. Werewolves. Um... So we get introduced this cast of werewolves, and the werewolves basically are dying out. Yeah. So they have to find their source of power that works or gives them their powers through these necklaces. And if they don't find the source of power, their necklaces are all running out of power. Once their necklaces run out of power, they die. So we get the zombies and the zom or not the zombies, the werewolves. And the werewolves seem kind of evil to everybody. Basically, people freak out over the werewolves like they did over the zombies in the first one. Yeah. They call the werewolves monsters and evil and think they're there to eat them. And mm, Bucky still doesn't like. Bucky still doesn't like zombies. Because he's Bucky. And neither and the and the ACs don't like. Um, and the ACs hate Addison. Addison. Yes, they hate Addison. Um, so, you know, story goes, we get kind of a, a love triangle thing where Zed thinks that Addison's falling for Wyatt, Wyatt the werewolf leader guy. He's not the leader. Okay. He is kind of the leader. He's not. 
his sister is. His, his sister is the leader of the of the group from the movie. I know she claims she is. But she I, is. Okay, let us know in the comments if you've watched the movie if you think she's the leader or Wyatt is the leader. I think it's Wyatt. She thinks it's his sister. She's probably right. I'm probably wrong. Um. So throughout the course, um, lots of things happen that make Zed believe that Addison's falling for Wyatt and that Wyatt likes her. And really, it's Wyatt is looking her. to her because he thinks what? She's the alpha. She's the alpha. They have a, a prophecy that the alpha is going to save them. And in this prophecy, this video, the Alpha is a lady with white hair. But we can't see her face. So he thinks that it's Addison. Um, so we get this whole setup with that. And they basically kind of convince her that she's a werewolf. While that's going on, Bucky and Zed are running for president. Are running for like school student. president, student, student council, student body president. Right? Um, so they kind of have their whole thing going on, too. And so there's multiple storylines going. Um, Bucky versus Zed. Zed being jealous of Addison and Wyatt. Wyatt trying to convince Addison she's a werewolf. The werewolves trying to find this magic stone, moonstone. this moonstone. The that, moonstone. The moonstone that powers them. Um, so where do we want to go? What's the next thing we want to kind of talk about now that they know the different plot points? Which one do we want to follow? Or what do you think is important that our viewers at home know? Well, Addison and Zed, so, um, Addison gets taken to the werewolf's den, um, and so... They have a big party and there's a song and then and then Bree gets a message that says help and so she goes get and gets all the zombies and they go and try to save Addison at the den. Zed like She tells them that she's not in trouble. Uh huh. She and needed help with chemistry homework. Yeah. And she, and there was a little beaker sign. And she ends up Shortly after that, kind of getting mad at Zed. Because mm -hmm. they give her, the werewolves give her a necklace. Um, that will show if she really is the alpha or not. Alpha. Was, uh, that's what I said. What did I say? Alpha. I said alpha. <laughs> I did not say alpha. Yeah, you did. Alpha. Alpha. Alright? Yeah. Okay. I'll just be the leader. Anyways, so they give her this this necklace that's for the alpha and um she is debating whether she's gonna put it on because if she puts it on she's a werewolf she can't take it off and if they don't find the stone she's gonna die too right so they uh figure that out and as the story is progressing we also have the prawn Right? Yeah. The prawn happens to be the prom. Um, they're big school dance, obviously, but they call it the prawn because they're it's Seabrook a and shrimp. it's a mighty shrimp is their mascot, the prawn. And so, um, Zed wants to take Addison to prawn, and originally that's going to happen, but then it's not because once the werewolves show up, they reenact all the anti monster laws, so now the zombies can't go to prom. Pran, and there's all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on. But at some point, Zed steals Addison's necklace. Addison's necklace, so she can't put it on. And when she goes to put it on, she discovers it's missing, and the werewolves then get mad at her because she lost it. Because, right? because it was a full-powered necklace, so... Um... And those are very and those are very powerful. So, mm -hmm. uh, and they last a really long time. This is true. A hundred years. True. Um, and from there, we end up getting to 
um, to the point where he kind of admits to her that he took it and that he messed up and she's mad at him, doesn't want to see him. She puts it on and nothing. She is not a werewolf at all. Oh, and they were, and they went to go see the power plant. Yes. Because they believe that the moonstone is powering the power plant. Yes. Powering. And they decide and figure out that the moonstone must be at the power plant. So they go to stop the power plant from being demolished. Um, and we get a big song, kind of ultimate song at that moment. Um, and it, it's a very cool moment where you get the werewolves dancing and then they're getting arrested and then all of a sudden zombies and regular kids show up and they start singing the song and they're like all together and they get them to stop the demolition. But... Um, it, the demolition, the guy turned the key and he couldn't turn it off. He couldn't turn it off, so... Boom! Everything blows up. Not everything. Well, the power, the power plant blows up. And so then everybody's disappointed. Um, the regular kids are allowed to go to prime. The zombies and werewolves are not. The werewolves are all sick and dying-ish. And Zed goes and says, hey, we're going to go to prime. He goes to the werewolves and says, come on, let's go. Let's make the most of our time. So what if we're monsters? Let's go. And so he convinces them to go to Pran, and they all go to Pran together. And they basically crash Pran, and they're good, and they all start dancing and whatnot, and Addison and Zed make up and do a reprisal of my favorite song, one of my favorite songs from the first one. Someday. Yep, Someday. Because um, it's a story about a girl in a zombie which is hilarious um and while they're dancing an earthquake happens and the ground opens up and they discover that the gem is still calling to them somehow right yeah and they in the big crack in the ground there was a big purple glow and they said oh the moonstone must be there so they all went under so they all go under and they find the moonstone and all the werewolves are able to repower which is good and then they try to pick it up, but they can't, so all the humans and the zombies come to help. And then um, they have to get out, but this big boulder... Boulder falls. And so they can't get out. And then everyone, like, Zed, take off, take off your Z-band. So Zed takes off his Z-band and moves the thing. And then it looks like he's trapped, but he's not. But he's not. He gets out. And they get out. And everything is good. The werewolves have their stone. Our main characters, Zed and Addison, are back together. Um, our two sidekicks are together. Can I think of their names? Brian Bonzo? Brian Bonzo, yes, Bonzo, that's his name. I like Bonzo. He only talks in zombie tongue. I know, he only talks in zombie tongue, it's great. Um, they end up together, we get everyone together, we get the happy kind of ending, right? We get the, the classic Disney movie ending where they're all happily ever after. But, then we see, we get our very last scene of the movie, and let me go right here. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Giants, Ch cut, 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 don't go any farther if you don't want the main spoiler that kind of sets up our third movie, right? Like, cut it off right here. Bye. Peace. Row night out. If you don't want to hear this. Otherwise, keep watching. So what is the thing that happens at the very end of the movie? So you see, so you go into Addison's room, bedroom, and you She's asleep. And you see this big, um like blue light go down like a glowing comet and it goes down and Boom. crashes and all of a sudden her alarm clock starts going off and playing all these weird noises and stuff and then Addison wakes up and is like what and 
you see her hair starts to glow blue. Right. So Edison's hair is glowing blue after a blue comet thing crashes to Earth. Which leads us to believe what about Zombies 3? Because you know we're getting to Zombies 3. Originally we had talked about, oh, maybe they'll give us the classic vampire, ha ha ha, because they've given us zombies and werewolves. But what does it look like they're going to give us instead? Aliens. Aliens. Extraterrestrials. Absolutely. Which also makes us believe that Addison is what? An alien. An alien. So, I'm of the thought that maybe then Addison's grandparents are aliens, or her real parents. Maybe she was adopted by her parents and never told. They found her. Yeah, because they tried to cover up her hair. Because they tried to cover up her hair, so maybe they found her. And so her real parents are aliens. And maybe her mother, her real mother, or her grandmother, are what the werewolves thought was the alpha. Somebody with white hair. Who has magic. Because this moonstone had to come from somewhere, right? And your other thought is that the so, alpha is in the moonstone. And my other thought is that the alpha or somebody could be inside the moonstone. So, But maybe that moonstone is like something from an alien world. And so this alien basically has created werewolves and zombies on our world. What do you think of that? Yeah. Think that's how it happened, kind of? Yeah. The alien somehow created life on our planet? Well, aliens are life, so... Yeah. I know. Do you they, know what I mean? Yeah, they, they created... The zombies and the werewolves? Yeah. Ow! And also, probably just... Okay, so that covers the basic idea of the movie. Let's just real quickly hit on songs. Um, we have a list of the different songs here, uh, just so that we could remember what they are. Is there one that, one or two that really kind of stand out to you as like, oh yeah, that song, I like that song? Um, I actually like. I like three of them. Okay. Not my, Give me your first one. What's the first one? My first favorite is Flesh and Bone. I like I'm Winning, which is the battle between, which is like the battle between, um... Zed and Bucky. Yeah, Zed and Bucky going back and forth to see I'm going to be, I'm going to be the president. Yep. And what's your other one? Call to the Wild. Okay. That was the one where they're convinced you're trying to convince her she's a werewolf, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I actually like Flesh and Bone a lot, too. Um, if, if that's the one, I thought it was one for all. But if it's, if it's Flesh and Bone, basically where they're all together, right? Dancing in front of the, um, the people trying to blow everything up and convince them not to blow it up. Um, I already told you I like Someday. I like the reprisal of it. It's one of my favorite songs from the first movie. Um, we Got This Is Okay. It's the opening number. Eh. I, 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 I like it, but it's not my favorite. It's, it's not. I like, I like all the songs. I, and I do like We Own the Night, too, when we first meet the werewolves. Yeah. That one's kind of fun. I like We Own the Night and We Got This, too. So, maybe I'll try to, like, link to the songs for you in the video. Um... Or play a little clip it or something in the background so you can hear it. I know I can't play too much copyright issues. Um, so I'm better off probably just linking you to them. But I can link you to some favorite ones. If they could only listen to one song out of the ten songs from the film. What's the one song I should link them to that they should listen to? Flesh and Bone. Flesh and Bone? You heard it here. She says you need to listen to Flesh and Bone. So I'm going to link it right above my head. Alright, and if I said there's another one you should listen to, maybe I'll just link them to the Someday Reprisal, because it really is one of my favorite songs. I don't know, I'll link something right here. I'll figure it out when I'm editing. So there you have it, folks. 
Zombies 2 in a nutshell. Um, out of five. Can give it five paw prints for the werewolves. Normally we do stars, but... Ow! Werewolves. Five paws. One paw being... Five paws being... Outstanding. She hates that. How many should we give it? Um. A four. She says four paws, people. I tend to agree. I'm going to say four paws also. I um, think it was really good. Think the songs are really good. Don't know that they catch me quite as much as the songs from the original. Um, I loved Bam in the original movie. It, yeah, um, the one that the one that they kind of like do for like they do for Bam is called To the Wild. Yeah, and it's just it, it's not quite the same. It's a good song. It's a it's a really great song, but compared to Bam, compared it's to not. Bam, it's just not the same. Bam is better. Um, so, I'm going to say song-wise, it's not quite as good. And I'm going to say, um, story-wise, there was some stuff I really liked. There was some stuff that I was like, eh, I could have done without or it could have been done better. So, yeah, I'm going to say four. I'm going to say put it on the really good movie list when it comes to Disney movies like this, um, Disney Channel movies. Obviously, it's way different than something like a Star Wars or a Marvel movie or something you'd watch in the theaters, right? But we're talking Disney Channel movie kind of idea, original musicals like that. I'm going to go with Four With Her um, and say, yep, it is awesome. We both agree that people should watch Zombies 2, right? Definitely. Um, but don't watch it unless you watch Zombies 1. Yeah, because that gives away a ton. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that won't make complete sense unless you already know the story. Anyways... I think that pretty much wraps us up, don't you think? All right, so we are out of here, and this is row nine. See ya. Row nine.